गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन सो इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव टॉक्ट अबाउट द प्लेनर ग्राफ्स आयलर फॉर्मूला एंड मैक्सिमल प्लेनर ग्राफ्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी विल सी एन एसोसिएशन सफिशियंट कंडीशन टू चेक दू टू डिटरमाइन इफ अ गिवन ग्राफ इज प्लेनर और नॉट सो वी बिगिन विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सब डिविजन सो सब डिविजन ऑफ एन एज इज इट्स रिप्लेसमेंट बाय अ सिंपल पाथ यू नॉट यू वन and u k and g dash is a subdivision of a graph g if g dash is obtained from g by a sequence of subdivision subdivisions of edges in g it would be clear from the following example so you can see the graph g is there where there is an edge u e and then you subdivided it by introducing the degree to vertices where you can see now there is a path from u to e and therefore g dash is a subdivision of g so let's see some examples if this is the graph g then clearly h is a subdivision of g because one of the edge of g has been subdivided by introducing two two degree vertices but f is not a subdivision of g because this edge is not present in g so now we say that two graphs are homeomorphic if they both are subdivision of the same graph let us consider this example so first try by yourself that are the following graphs homeomorphic and then you can observe here that both the graphs are subdivision of k5 because there are only extra degree two vertices which got introduced because we subdivided the edges of k5 other than that these five vertices of degree 4 are common in both the graphs and therefore they are subdivision of k5 hence homeomorphic what about these graphs are g1 g2 g3 homeomorphic so actually they are not because in none of them there are two degree vertices so only degree two vertices leads to the subdivision other than the degree two vertices the number of the vertices having degree greater than 2 should be same which is not here so if two graphs are homeomorphic they must have the same number of the vertices of degree i where i is not equal to 2 so here you can see that there are four vertices of degree 5 but in the middle one there are all the vertices of degree 3 and in the last one there are five vert there are only five vertices of degree 3 they do not have these additional vertices so therefore none of them are homeomorphic this is an exercise which you must try by yourself and then we must move to the most important result of this chapter which is kurotowski theorem it says that a graph is planar if and only if it has no subgraph homeomorphic to either k33 or k5 we already know that k33 and k5 are non planar graphs so to prove non planarity we must show that it has a subgraph which is homeomorphic to either k5 or k33 let's see a example what do you think is the peterson graph planar or non planar to show that it is non planar you must find its subgraph which is homeomorphic to k33 or k5 otherwise you must show that it is planar planar can also be shown by showing its planar drawing so the idea is to to look for the subgraph which is homeomorphic to k33 to k5 if you consider this subgraph which you obtain by deleting these two edges then you can see that there are three blue vertices three orange vertices and other than that others are degree 2 vertices 
these degree two vertices simply show the subdivision of the edges and therefore we get a subdivision of the modified graph which means that the given Peterson graph has a subgraph which is homeomorphic to K33. So these are the four vertices which shows the subdivision of the four edges of K33 and therefore Peterson graph is non-planar. Now let's try some of the very interesting question. Please do spend some time and try it by yourself and then we'll discuss each one by one. So first one. Please do try by yourself. If the graph looks quite dense, it's a good decision to first try the Euler formula. So if you see this one, then you can see that that it has 13 edges so e is equal to 13 and it has order 6 if you compute 3n minus 6 then 3n minus 6 comes out to be 18 minus 6 which is 12 and it has 13 edges so 13 is greater than 12 and therefore you can easily conclude that the graph is not planar at the same time, it's very easy to find a subgraph which is homeomorphic to K5. So you, if you observe here that degree of D is 4, its degree is 5, its degree is 4, its degree is 5, the degree of F is 4 and degree of E is 4. So there are two vertices whose degree is 5. Now if you delete C E, so if you delete C E and if you delete A E, then it is easily observed that the degree of E would be equal to 2 and you will obtain a subgraph which is homeomorphic to K5. Please try it by yourself. Next question. Now this graph. If you try then Euler formula fails here. It means this graph has less than 3 and minus 6 edges and therefore we cannot conclude on the base of Euler formula. Now if I have to use the Kuratowski theorem then you can observe here that to have a subgraph which is homeomorphic to K5 I must need at least 5 vertices of degree 4. But here there are not 5 vertices of degree 4, therefore it cannot be homeomorphic to K5. Now to be homeomorphic to K33, you must need 6 vertices of degree 3. So here there are 6 vertices of degree 3. If you observe the degree of A is equal to 3, it means that A is adjacent to B, C, and f and there are total six vertices so all must be the part of k33 it means b c f should form a partite set and the other partite set is a then c is done d and e now we just need to see that b c f should not be adjacent among themselves and a d e must not be adjacent among themselves but you can see that d is adjacent to e and degree of d is 3 so therefore there is no choice to delete this edge this shows us that it does not have a subgraph which is homeomorphic to k33 and therefore the graph is planar and its planar drawing is as follows so also spend some trying time in drawing the planar drawing next one So if you see this one, then it has 5 vertices of degree 4. It means degree 4 or more, it means it can be homeo, it may have a subgraph which is homeomorphic to K5. So if I delete AF and FG, then you will have 
the degree of a is equal to 2 and degree of f is equal to 2 and the remaining vertices would have degree 4 or more and therefore this is how a subgraph homeomorphic to k5 looks like yes but at the same time this is a very interesting example where you can easily obtain a subgraph homeomorphic to k33 also so what you do you delete the edge af then you delete eg and gc and then it's very easy to observe that the remaining graph is homeomorphic to k33 where cge forms one partite set and the remaining vertices forms the other partite set last question so again after trying by yourself you can easily find that it has a subgraph which is homeomorphic to k33 to see it you must delete edge hc and bi after deleting it this is how you will obtain a subgraph which is homeomorphic to k33 so this is the last question which you can try as homework and again it would be easy to find that it has a subgraph which is homeomorphic to k33 that's all from today's class thank you very much